is up guys welcome back good to see your faces out there thanks for joining me today we've got the hill climb test on the on the raptor <laughs> 2.1 from inertion now this is going to be the king of the hills i suppose i would say uh it's a beast of a, a, a skateboard you saw the the first ride and unbox and you saw my impressions of that and um you saw the results now hill climb is supposed to be the best so we'll check it out today now normally what I do is I have it redone, pre-done, come in here and sort of cut between it and throw to the field. Uh, but today I'm going to be doing it a little bit different, I'm having the anticipation of not knowing what it's doing, uh, or going to do, should I say. So we're going to talk about it here and I'm going to go to the field, see all the results, and I'll do a talk over, a voice over at the end, uh, explaining my ratings for the hill climb test and what I think. Uh, we'll see how it goes on the leaderboard. Now the leaderboard is hill three. Hill three has the speed up that hill. I don't do this seconds thing. I mean, seconds doesn't work. Yes, it gives you an indication how fast it travels, but you need to get the vitometer, you need to get the speed on camera, the graphs, the analysis, and you need to see the speed. There's no argument then, because sometimes the speed might be quicker at a certain point, it'll die off. The overall time might be one second out, but the the first ball was faster. That's the reason I use um, yeah, my, uh, my vitometer. We know it's pretty accurate. The record on hill climb number three is with the Zill board on half throttle on median setting, which was 35 kilometers per hour. It's a 22% to 23% grade. Um, the next one is actually the Vestar board. It came in, would you believe, at 29 kilometers per hour. Very impressive. So I think the Inertion Raptor will probably go 36, 37, maybe, and then we'll the, the Zill board back to, to get its crown back, I would say, uh, when uh, the Zill board is released, which we're all waiting on desperately. Um, Right, so the Raptor uh, will be tested today. I'm gonna to go through the hills. Hill one is a small hill just here, but it's got a decent little hill on it, uh, which you, you normally can't push your skateboard up without a lot of energy. So it's a good indication on, on pretty much a little bit of a hill, and that's a 9%. We've got the 15% uh, hill number two, which is a decent hill. I get a run up, but the point is I, I don't lose speed up there on most of the boards. This should accelerate up that hill, not actually keep the same speed. And then hill number three is the hill which I test all the boards on with the speed and the leaderboard. Um, so let's go to the field now, enough of my talking. Let's decide if this is the king of hills. Let's see if this thing is what it says it is. Uh, this is gonna be the litmus test. We know it's got speed, we know it's got torque, but can it actually, these hubs, these ghost hubs spec uh, 980s, uh, 9080s, sorry, uh, 190 kvs. Let's see if this has got the power to carry someone. Now, also, any board can perform with a 70k rider, and a lot of the guys in China are quite light and smaller, I suppose. So, we in the Western, you know, with our, you know, the way we are, we're a bit bigger and heavier, taller guys. So, we need to see if these boards perform with my weight 95 kilos, some like. Test riders 100 and 105. This is where you really need to test electric skateboards, okay? Let's go out, let's check out the hills, let's go have some fun, and you'll get, we'll shoot now to the outdoor scenes of the uh, hill climb. Enjoy, sit back, and have a blast. We're now here with uh, the Raptor 2.1 on hill number one. You can see, we'll test out the speed on that. Let's go. Wow. That was impressive. Went like a rocket, basically. Okay, we're now going to do hill number two on the Raptor in high speed. Hill number two, and there it is up here. Hill number two. 
Okay, let's go. Let's wait these cars go. That's it. Okay. I think uh, my back foot was in the wrong spot, but that's uh, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. Here we have the leaderboard. This is like the uh, Top Gear lap, fastest lap. The yeah, Zill board on number one on 35 kilometers per hour. Remember, half speed, medium setting, half toggle, but that was just the record on that day. Owner four drive on 29 kilometers per hour. Got the Vestar board V2 and V1 on 27 kilometers per hour. That was only a few weeks ago. That's a great result. Third place there. Uh, then we cost got the Lamb wheel on 22 kilometers per hour, 2200 watts. That was a beast of a booster. Uh, then we got the um, next place is the Onans and the Vareels all coming on 21 kilometers per hour. We've then got the, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're all pretty much the same speed. We've got the Koo board generation two, then we've got the Koo wheel version one, and then the Koo wheel version 1.5 D3M, and then we've got the Team G at the end. Look, there we go, that's the record at the moment, 35 kilometers per hour. Let's see what this board can do, the Raptor 2.1, a lot of wraps on it. Let's check it out. Okay guys, we're here with the Raptor 2.1. This is the latest addition to the fleet of Raptors. I've got it, it's exciting. I'm one of the first people in Australia to get it. We're doing my hill number three, which I normally do, uh, and do the speed check up there. So we'll see what it can do. The record's 35 kilometers an hour. That's the, uh, the Zill board. 29 kilometers an hour is the uh, all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive Onan. And now we've got a record on the Vestar board at 27 kilometers per hour, 28 I think it is. See what the Raptor can do. I've got my Vito meter, got everything fully charged, fully charged battery, 95 kilo rider. Let's see what we can do on this uh, hill climb test number three. Okay, here we are with the Raptor 2.1 on hill number three. We'll test it out and see what it can do. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Raptor number two, point one. There we go. Wow. That was pretty impressive. Not sure what that was, but we'll have a look now. But that's quick. I've got to run up right to my house virtually. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Okay, we just finished that hill. Let's check the temperature of the hubs. Well, I've got it live, all in one take, in one shot. So you can see the temperature of the hubs. Okay, let's have a look, put it down gently, like that. Very gently. Right, let's have a look now. Okay. Okay, so we just do Turn it on, which is there. Turn it on. Okay, the temperature is 27 degrees. Inside hub, we'll just test. Bang. 47 degrees. Inside again. 40, 44 degrees. Inside this one, 47 degrees. Exactly the same outside in the nut. 
50.2 degrees. One more time, 50.52 degrees. We'll check the other one. There we go, again. Temperature gauge on the nut, hub nut. That's directly to the motor, 55 degrees. Okay, 55. There we go, and just check the heat sink. We'll check the heat sink now. 49 degrees. Heat sink again, 53 on this side. On the, there, 50 degrees. On this side, 53 degrees. Pretty even temperature. Are they hot? Yeah, they're pretty warm. Are they hot there? Yeah, well, it's pretty hot, 50. What is it again? So I've forgotten. 45 degrees. There you go, 45. Yeah, so, yeah, they're pretty, the urethanes, we'll just check the temperature of the urethanes. They're 48 degrees, wow, that's, in, that's incredible. You check the urethane temperature, 48 degrees. Well, that's 46, this one, 47 degrees, slightly more, not much difference. Well, there you go, guys. <coughs> really impressive. Wow. Okay, guys, uh, dudes, I need to talk to you about um, something about the board that I noticed. Look, uh, it's an awesome electric skateboard. Um, Inertia have done well this time to refine this product to its the best I've ever seen of all the models. I do like it, and it certainly won the crown today from Hill Climb Tests. Uh, look, it was stone cold from when I did the tests, therefore had no heat on the motors. By the end of the 25 minutes of uh, hill climbs, or maybe 30 minutes, those hubs did get quite hot, <clears throat> as you saw, 50 degrees. Look, um, what cuts in then is the thermal throttling. I've noticed it happened on the initial first ride as well at Olympic Park. And what it actually happens is the the sort of very and I, I get it I understand why it's doing it to protect the motors but the thermal uh, calculator says mm, getting a bit hot let's uh, knock down the amperage to the motors and from like I think 80 amps per motor it drops it down to about 60 amps per motor which means you lose about 30 percent power the top speed was 33 34 kilometers per hour at the end of that uh, first unbox and ride same thing happened on the hill climb so we're not talking super hot days 26 27 degrees so a little bit concerning maybe the new firmware upgrade will fix that but just be mindful if you get a raptor 2.1 these are beasts of motors they are certainly overpowered for i think what they are and they draw a lot of heat um and that is one of the things that has to be well managed with this particular board so uh, yeah, that's my little um, my observations of the only things I could see that are concerning a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, look, I'll I'll finish up on that. The rating for today is going to be nine point nine out of ten stars for the hill climb. So uh, very impressive work, Inertion, and hats off to you guys. Done a great job. But just be mindful of this thermal throttling on the adjustment for the heat for motors. It is a little bit of a worry. Uh, you will suffer performance and speed once they reach to 90 degrees, these motors, which happens very quickly. Okay, guys, that's about it. Um, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next uh, vlog, and we'll chat then. Till then, happy skating, safe skating. Andrew Penman signing off.